Hi, quick intermission here. If you can't hear me speak, that's normal. This was the first ever video I filmed and uh, I didn't check if the mic was on and guess what? It wasn't. <laughs> I've also realized that this isn't the best stand to film in when using speed clips so the screen can twitch or uh, glitch a little bit, so sorry for that. But I didn't want to chuck all this footage away because I did add some useful tips. And I also didn't want to do it all over again because it just wouldn't look very genuine in my, in my opinion. So I thought I'd put it up anyway. So hi, welcome back and uh, today I'm doing a closet cleanup. I love closet cleanouts actually. I love watching them more than actually doing it, but this time I had to do it myself because I just moved house or apartment. Uh, me and my boyfriend moved in together, and as you would expect, tail is all this time. I have way more clothes than him, and I had a bigger closet before, so get the picture. So like I said, I'm going to try and give you as many storing or storage tips as I can, so it's not a total waste of your time. Let's start! I'm gonna start with these off-the-shoulder tops. This first one is a pale green colored off-the-shoulder top with no stretch, <laughs> but it's really pretty. Then the second one is this black silk from H&M. Then this is a black and red lumberjack type of shirt from Zara. The material is quite stiff and I've only worn it once. I really love it, but I'm I don't think it's my style, so I'm gonna try and sell it. Next one is a red and black leopard print sweater from New Look. It's a little bit cropped. It has these long hairs on it, which gives it more of an interesting texture. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna keep it. So another lumberjack pattern shirt, but now with red and white. This one's from Forever 21. And what do you know? A third lumberjack bread and item. <laughs> but this time it was a little bit more adventurous with the colors. I think it's blue, brown and white. Also from Forever 21, I think. I'm going to keep this one because I think it sits nice on my body. How many lumberjack shirts can one girl have? This one's actually uh, red with blue lines. I think it's from New Look or Forever 21 again. You're gonna hear me mention Forever 21 a lot, by the way. They had like a three stories high store in Antwerp here and with every change of season I took one day off of work so it wouldn't be too busy in the store and I spent the whole day <laughs> just in the store trying on clothes. So as a result of that I now have a closet with a lot of Forever 21 clothes and no room for other things. Oh yeah, the I can pull off a grungy type lumberjack, right? See, the thing is I actually really like this style when I see it on other people. Maybe if I'd wear it around my waist, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna see if it sells. If it doesn't, I'm gonna keep it and otherwise it's gone. Could always buy a new one. <laughs> this is a burgundy lightweight cardigan. I still like it, but I haven't worn it in ages, so I'm gonna sell that. Next piece is a long button-up khaki blouse with gold details from Primark. I love it. The sleeves are not too long, but you can wear them long if you want. I actually don't like it when the cup of a sleeve is covering my wrist because I get too hot and my palms get sweaty. I like to layer this with some brown boots. There's a stain on it, so I'm gonna wash it. Then this similar styled long sleeve blouse with a lower back, also Forever 21. It's a little bit too similar than the other shirt, so I'm gonna Put this one on Vinted. Ah, oh, love this piece. It's a silky type of material, super soft, bomber jacket style, 
soft khaki with pale pink, green on the back. The cuffs are all damaged because of the zipper, but don't care. Then this is a staple piece, a simple long sleeved blouse in black with beading on the neckline. I always wear it tucked into a khaki skirt that I have. I do not only have a lot of lumberjack skirt shirts, I apparently also bought every long sleeve blouse I saw in the store. <laughs> it was like my go-to piece to wear for a real long time. I don't know, it's just easy to wear, it's simple, but put together at once, flatters my body shape, it's not too tight. Then the second long sleeve dark blue blouse. This time with beading on the collar and the way down the shirt. I'm going to keep this. Also had a stain on it. <laughs> then you guessed it, another long sleeve blouse. But this time it's a light blue one with special texture. It's like a mixture between snakeskin and bubble. I had envisioned it with a leather pencil skirt, but never worn it, so bye bye. But of course, it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't start doubting my decision, so I created a meme pile. <laughs> Next, this is an uh, orange long sleeve blouse from Zara with some special beading on the neckline. Now we're moving on to some plain white blouses. The first one is like a muted white from H&M. It's not the softest, but it's perfect underneath a chunky Christmas sweater because it's form fitting. It has a cute silver button on top. The second one is more of like a a true white and has looser fit. Pairs perfectly with everything. And luckily these ones do not have stains on them. We're not done. This is a floral off-white long sleeve blouse. Great for fall. Gonna keep this because it floats very nicely. Then this blouse I bought because I saw it on Zuela. So we suck and I was immediately sold. I was influenced. The only thing is that it's so large and even though I like oversized things, it was a little bit too big on me at the time. It would fit better now, but I don't like tucking in my shirts at the moment because of the little pooch, so it's gonna go. Next one is a black and white blouse with vertical straps. I bought it because it pairs nice with everything. It's simple, but stylish. And something similar, it's not a blouse, so I think we're done with them. This is a long t-shirt with short sleeves. It Box with your eyes in real life and apparently on camera too, but I'm gonna keep it. Moving on to short sleeve tops, or in this case, a no sleeved black top. This is a bodysuit with push buttons from Cool Cat. It has a pleather V accent with a mesh in the center. It has some deodorant stains on it. Throw it in a wash, girl, come on. Oh, wait, this one's lost its way. Yet again, a long sleeve blouse. It's from Forever 21. It has different colored metal buttons on the collar, which makes it a bit more special. And even though I've had it for quite a while, it's still in a very nice condition. I haven't worn it in a while, so I'm gonna chuck this on vintage and see if it sends. Okay, I'm banned from ever buying a blouse again. This is a cute one, though. It has zero stretch and it's not the most comfortable, it's a little bit crap, but this paired with black coated jeans I have is just stunning. Some black booties on the wrist with a cool little bag. Okay, next up, short sleeve blouses. So how about we count how many short sleeve blouses I have? So this is number one, this is a red one, even though the camera's faking it up at orange. Then two, blue... No, pink with blue polka dots from Forever 21. Ruffled sleeves. Keeping it. Blue toned leopard print one. It's more of like a shirt blouse, but I don't know. It doesn't quite fit. So bye. Then a green blouse from Vera Moda with ruffles on the front. I've liked it in the past, but I'm ready to part with it. Then a bright yellow blouse with a pin tuck, I think it's called. Uh, love this color on me, so definitely staying. A loose hanger. <laughs> then the same blouse as the previous one, but in a different color, more of pale blue. But this has an extra little detail on the front. It's like a tiny flower-like ribbon thingy. 
Number seven, a khaki with pale pink blouse from Primark. A little bit cropped. Keeping it up. Number eight, a white long sleeved off the shoulder blouse with gold buttons from, I think it's from New Look. A little bit see through, so I usually wear this with a jacket. Uh, so for that reason, I am going to keep it. Number nine, an animal safari flowy blouse with a deeper V, perfect length of the sleeve. I think this is in my top three shirts of all time. Number ten, dark blue blouse from Sienna. This with some white jeans, perfect, keeping it. Number eleven, another animal print inspired blouse with some beading on a neckline. I think it's snakeskin print. I wear this with a spaghetti strap top underneath because it's kind of see-through. The number 12, a black flowy blouse with little stones or beading around it. I lost a little bit of the beads already in the front, but you don't really see it. When I wear, I still love this. So 12 pieces in total. I don't know if this is like too much. What do you think is an acceptable amount? Now over to tops. Okay, I think this has to be my favorite piece of the whole closet. It's like a special top from Zara. It's the mullet of tops. <laughs> it's shorter in the front, longer in the back. Also has a lower back. It's a halter top with two separate pieces you can tie at the front. It has black and white stripes with a bunch of colorful flowers running into it or running through it. I paid 40 euros for this, but it has been totally worth it. Never throwing this away. So following it is this black and white checkered print top. It's cropped two pieces and the bottom again you can tie it together. No sleeves but with a collar. This with a pair of shorts and red lipstick. This is a spaghetti strap from Forever 21 again I think. It's not my style anymore even though it's pretty. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that. Then this pale yellow crop t-shirt with a bath towel looking and feeling material. It's a little bit see-through but a nude t-shirt bra doesn't show. I think it's cute with shorts, comfy sneakers, so going to keep that. Oh, another one of my favorites. It's this uh, cropped white and pale blue striped flowy top. Gives me, I'm wandering in the streets of Greece vibes. Has pig poofy sleeves, which I truly love. If only I could fit in it again. It's something to work on for next summer. Then a black spaghetti top with special detailing on, on the back. It's like a classy top to wear when it's hot outside or when you're riding a bike. I don't know why I'm visioning that, but I just do. So these are like the details on the back. I like to pair this with like a pair of smart trousers. Some high heels, ready to go to work. Next in line is this spaghetti strap top with some ruffles next to the armpits. Just sounds sexy, doesn't it? Also one of my favorites, so... Definitely going back in the class. Then stepping away from the black, a flowy white top. Really soft. Don't know where I got it from. I would have loved this in black too, because the white is a little bit see-through and I not only like the mesh part. Again, paired with the jacket, it's okay for me. Want to do a festival. Such a pretty combination. The purple t-shirt this time. Lots of sparkles. It's actually like these kinds of hard balls or points on the t-shirt itself that gives off a sparkly reflection. Haven't worn it yet, even though it has been hanging in my closet for quite some time. But I think I'm going to wear it in the future, so still hanging on to this one. Next one is this sporty green and black top that I'm definitely gonna ditch. It has a hole in the back, so I'm <laughs> just gonna throw that in the trash. A color that I haven't shown you yet, it's khaki. No, <laughs> it's actually like a washed out khaki color, but the star of this shirt isn't a color, it's sleeves. 
The beading on this is so beautiful. It wasn't cheap, but it's definitely worth the price. It does cling to your jeans or like belly a bit, but if you tuck it in the front of your pants, it gives up like cool vibe. See, it's like, the beading is so pretty. Another top I've worn to death, it's like this lacy top with different types of lace spread all over the top. If you're more daring than me, you can wear like a pretty bra bralette underneath it. Then this one, I already know I'm gonna, I'm not gonna keep because I keep on putting it back in my closet after every declutter and I just don't wear it. I love the combination of like the black, the yellow, the accent in the middle, but I've never worn it and I have to trust my gut and parts, part my ways with it. I hope it finds a better place with lots of wear time. From Forever 21. Go figure. This is a top from New Look in one of my favorite colors, pastel purple. I always associate this color with the children actually, but I love it so much that I don't really care about that. This with light denim shorts is so pretty, it screams summer to me. It's actually like an off-the-shoulder top, but I wear those uh, ruffles hanging underneath my arms. Again, very sexy. <laughs> This piece is like a flowy black top with no sleeves. I had the perfect necklace to pair with this. Also from Forever 21, but I've lost it. So the camera shot me off there. Well, if a bunch of different blouses and tops with a ruffle wasn't enough, here's a top with a bajillion ruffles. <laughs> the only thing I don't really like about this is that it has no sleeves. So I have one pair of smart pants. And this one is from Zara. Uh, I was only 20 euros. I like the way they make my legs and bum look. I wish that they were more of like a high rise and without the elastic band because they hang just a little bit too low for me and when I sit they don't really cover like the muffin tops and I hate it. So I try to hide the muffin tops with like a loose fitting top that I tuck in the pants and that just they hang loose. Um, I have no idea what I'm saying here. <laughs> so sorry. Ah, my nemesis. Not stairs, my other nemesis. Skirts. Almost never wear them. They make my belly look poofy. Another reason is because I don't like tights. They're itchy, they fall off, or they cut me off where I don't want it. They're just not flattering for my body shape. So thanks, I'll pass. But sometimes, like twice a year, I do want to wear a skirt. And this first one I have is a Forever 21 skirt. I bought in a sale for 10 euros, I think. It has no stretch whatsoever. It's very cute, but I haven't worn it once. So I'm selling that. Then the second skirt is one I bought because my ex-boyfriend liked it. It's actually like a pretty comfortable skirt. It's just not my style. I do think my sister will like this. So I'm gonna ask her first if she wants it. Okay, why am I hanging the other one back? Throw it away! Ah, oh, now I love this one. This is like the latest addition to my extensive skirt collection. <laughs> and I really, really like this one. It sits not too high, not too low. It stretches, stretches and it's not too short. I love the color. This paired with a black turtleneck is giving me all the Rachel Green vibes and I'm here for it. I really have to stop eating chocolate so I can fit into this again. It's from a shop from Antwerp, but can't remember the name. Now, the last thing in this closet is, or this part of the closet is, my favorite dress at the moment. Mostly because it fits, but also because I've always thought that these types of dresses just weren't the thing for me. But this one is so comfortable, so pretty, that it changed my opinion, like, the first second I put it on in the store. I always wear this with a spaghetti strap top underneath. I love these spaghetti strap tops. They're from Pimki. They're only five dollars a piece, five euros a piece. <laughs> They're not too long, which they normally are, and I hate that. I'm a shorty, and they're tight but not smothering. 
I've got them in like five different colors, nothing. So the dress is from Luna and Lisa. I never go there, but I'm happy I did. I love the quarter length sleeves. Love that you can cinch in the waist a little bit more if you want. You don't really need to iron them. Love that. I do wish it came in like other colors. This combination doesn't suit me that well. I would have loved this in orangey kind of color or khaki. It did cost 50 euros, which is expensive for a dress in my opinion, but for the many times I've worn it already, it's definitely worth the price. So above the hanging rail, there's a shelf where I keep a throw pillow that I've already gifted to my sister, uh, my sport bag, a little green basket with all my tights in. Then on the complete right there are like these two IKEA cubes, tip, get them. They're filled with folded scarves, gloves, hats. The only thing I don't like is the closet is from IKEA. The cubes are from IKEA. Why don't they make them matching? Hello? So okay, that's it for now. I hope you liked it. Bye.